Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna remove the after cooler on a QSB slimline engine. There's an easy way to do this and a hard way to do this. So if you have to service the after cooler, this is the way to do it. So what you wanna do is you wanna loosen these three, these three bolts. Take two out, leave one in that's loose. This comes off, this comes off, this comes off, this comes off. You don't have to do mess around with any of the stuff underneath there as far as the other side of this hose. It'll come off as a unit, which makes your life a whole lot easier. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off And you just crack that one and leave it loose? Yeah. Basically, it just holds it in place while you're trying to get to the two. There's two, two bolts down in here that are hard to get to. You hold the backside and you push on them. You can see that it breaks loose. They kind of take a bite to the rubber. Slide that out of the way. Same thing on that. Slide that out of the way. magic tool so this will make your life a lot easier so what you want to do is these hoses get stuck on here so if you can work this tool in there this is one of the reasons I always tell people to put these air hoses on dry <clears throat> and also air filters Put them on dry because they really will stick. You put them on with um, rector, seal. rector seal or anything, <clears throat> they can pop off because it's so much pressure. It can be up to 30 PSI. It's a big hose for 30 PSI. But if you put them on dry, clean, clean, dry, the rubber really sticks to the metal. So if you squirt a little WD, you can work it around them. <clears throat> and then that'll come off and mm -hmm. tuck that out of the way. Pause. Have to sh well, if you want to show it. <clears throat> oh, you guacamole. I found these to be incredibly tight. Bigger wrench. Okay. Okay. Make sure you grease this bolt. If you don't grease it, sometimes it'll gall and you'll strip that clamp. And that's a oh, it'll gall. The threads will gall. Especially with that paint on there, probably. And that. Is an expensive clamp. Yeah, it's a, not a regular hose clamp, it's a V-band. So that's a 7 16 size nut. It's one of the only nuts on the engine that's American SAE standard. Of course. And this, you got to back completely off. Yeah. And do not use uh, electric impact wrench on this. It spins it so fast. It'll gall. It'll gall. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so this comes off. Get two hits. Careful you don't lose your O ring. At this point, this should be finger tight.
we have to re <laughs> now we have to remove the air side of it going into the intake manifold. So what we're gonna do is take all these bolts out. Okay, you can see that this bolt is retaining the dipstick bracket. So what I like to do is remove this bolt. Loosen this bolt. Swing this thing out of the way. Snug this bolt back up. Okay, just get it out of your way. All it'll do is it'll get that out of the way. Right. Okay, now you pause. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to break, there's a gasket in here and you want to try to be careful that you don't damage it. So what I like to do is kind of pull up and back at the same time. And you can see we didn't we didn't upset the gasket at all. So set this aside. And now we got two bolts that are hidden under here that are a major pain. So what we've got to do probably can't. I can't even get to a it. A lot no. of times Cummings doesn't tighten these really tight, which is good because it's a very hard bolt to get to. So your friend in removing this for these two bolts is a ratcheting wrench because the travel that you have in here is so limited. Mm -hmm. It's really hard with a standard wrench to do this. Okay, so you want to have a pair of side cutters ready. And I'll show you why in a second here. If you keep a little pressure against this, it won't slip off the engine. Just leaning into it with your knee? Yeah, just kind of holding it up against the engine. Okay. This wiring harness is held in with a zip tie. Right oh, here. I see. So if you have these ready, oh gosh, you can cut that zip tie. Like that. And then it comes. There you go. So the reason we don't mess with this is because this sets the angle of this hose. So if you if you undo this hose at the bottom, it's really hard to get it back on when the after cooler's on here. And if you don't need to don't even mess with it just do it on that end leave it hanging here yeah okay <clears throat> okay that's it all right thanks